Well, inflation in the United States has hit a 40-year high. Food and energy costs are driving the increase. And the war in Ukraine has disrupted global food supplies, pushing up both prices and food insecurity. Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan joins us now to talk all about it. And Margaret, how are world leaders responding to this crisis? Well, this is creating problems for world leaders and capitals around the world, political problems, economic problems, and potentially instability, national security threats. I spoke to the UN uh, food chief, David Beasley of the World Food Program, who said uh, his agency is running short on funds. The dollar just doesn't go as far as it used to since food prices are up 30 percent or more from where they were last year and supply is disrupted. So they're literally running out of supply in part because Ukraine and Russia make up about 25 percent of the world's grains of wheat. So this is potentially going to cause political instability, he says, in Africa, in the Middle East, in places that are food insecure. So it's a reminder that here in the richest country of the world, we feel the pain and it's that much more amplified in the poorest countries in the world. Sure is. Margaret, the uh, U.S. believes Ukrainian missile struck a key Russian ship, causing it to sink, and not believing the Russian version of events that there was a fire on board. You'll be talking with the former commander for the U.S. Army forces in Europe. What's the latest happening on the ground? We will uh, get a read from Ukraine's foreign minister, who will also join us, and then get analysis from uh, Ben Hodges, the, the retired lieutenant general you're talking about there, uh, as Russian forces concentrate on this eastern flank of Ukraine. That's the industrial heartland. That's where the farmland is. It is seen as the decisive battle to come uh, in the weeks ahead. President Zelensky said the worst may be ahead. So we're going to talk about that, as well as that specific port city of Mariupol, what you have been hearing, um, the civilians there are really under constant bombardment. There had been hope for a ceasefire over the weekend uh, due to the holy days, and it just does not appear there is one. Lots of tough topics to tackle on your show this weekend. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much for joining us. You can watch Face the Nation with Margaret Brennan Sunday morning at 1030 right here on CBS4. And then stick around for Facing South Florida with Jim DeFeedy. That's at 1130 a.m.